Welcome to the Teach Joyfully podcast, where we talk about all things elementary teaching with some mom stuff thrown in. I'm Lisa Burns, a teacher success coach, veteran elementary teacher, and mom of five. I'll be your host. Thanks for joining me. I am all about helping you with tools that save time, create engagement, are cost effective, and make sense in the day to day of real teaching in the elementary classroom. So today's episode is all about three tools I think every teacher needs, especially in our current ever-changing school environment. So let's get started. Three tools that I think you need, and yes, I do believe there are other tools you need, but to start, let's start with three, not to overwhelm everyone, are Canva, Pear Deck, and Boom Cards. Let's begin with Canva. Canva is all about images. So why do you need Canva? Well, I would tell you that Canva is more than just about pretty photos and social media images. Here's just a few of the wonderful things that you can create in Canva for your classroom. Flyers, brochures, trifolds, classroom printables, bookmarks, certificates, task cards, presentation layouts, schedules, and even checklists. And yes, there's tons more. So I highly recommend that if you don't have Canva, you go in and check it out. There's all kinds of layouts and pre-done templates that are out there. You can use them for free and just edit them. They have all kinds of great fonts embedded and images and clip art that you can use all included. It is super easy to use. There is a free component, so you can certainly use the good majority of it for free. If you want certain upgraded features, you do need to pay for that. Two features that they have in the paid version that I absolutely love are removing the background of any image and creating graphics and then being able to download them with a transparent background so I can overlay anywhere. Obviously, I pay for an upgraded subscription to Canva. However, you don't have to. The free subscription has tons of fabulous features, everything you're ever going to need without ever paying a dime. I love it. I think it's amazing. And I think there's endless things that you can do with it that once you get used to it are super easy and fast and you can just move on. In addition, it pairs beautifully with the next two tools I'm going to talk about, Boom Cards and Pear Deck. You can use a lot of what you create in those as well. With that said, let's talk about Boom Cards. Boom Cards has a free subscription and a paid subscription, a couple of levels of paid subscriptions. There are obviously some features that you can only get if you have a paid version. A paid subscription allows you to get reports on student progress and activity and assign multiple decks to students. However, if you don't simply have to have those features, you can use Boom Cards for the, with the free subscription and get incredible benefit for you and your students out of it. The concept for Boom Cards came from a teacher. It's created by people who understand teachers and teachers create boom cards within the platform. I think it's brilliant. It's essentially task cards that you can have and use anywhere. It's a great way to back up your teaching, help students practice, and keep the learning going. In an online school, I think it's brilliant because it's another way for students to get more practice when they log off from class with you. In a blended at-home component, It's another way to supplement what they're learning in the classroom with you and give them some practice. In addition, in actually a physical classroom, it's great for individual work, a center's time, all kinds of ways that you can use it to reinforce learning. It is so customizable and you can also use it with an interactive whiteboard for the whole class. Talk about flexibility. I think that's amazing. There are endless ways to use them, and there's tons of free ones that teachers have created. There's also a way for you to create Boom Cards as well if you have a paid subscription. So if you want to customize some learning for your students with electronic task cards, I have to say that paid subscription is well worth it. For a full year, paid subscription is only $35. It is so cost effective. So why do I like Boom Cards? It sounds like it's just a bunch of It sounds like it's just an online worksheet, right? No. Boom cards are interactive. That means that they have drag and drop features, fill in the blank, multiple choice. You can have a multi-pick, sound, video. Students can write and draw their answers on those cards. 
It has endless possibilities. You can use it for any subject, anywhere. Oh, and did I mention, you can actually use them live in an online classroom as well. They're easy to create and customize or purchase what you need that is already done. It can be a huge time saver. You can use them on Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Skype, Seesaw. You can assign them to any child individually or to a whole class. I think they're brilliant. I know that you're feeling a little overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, I have more things to learn. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got very simple tutorials that I have linked in the show notes so you can learn all about them and get started quickly. So the last tool is Pear Deck. Why do I like Pear Deck? Well, Pear Deck is a tool that you can use to make your Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint interactive. Yes, you heard me, interactive. It's absolutely the coolest thing. No, Pear Deck doesn't have a free version. However, they do have a free trial. And the last I checked, it was actually a quite long free trial. It wasn't like it was just a week or two. So you can get a good chance to really use Pear Deck and fall in love with it. They know what they're doing. Once you've used Pear Deck, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Trust me, it is that good. So what can you do in Pear Deck? Pear Deck is an add-on, which means that you can create any mix of Pear Deck and regular slides for your presentations, for your classroom, for your lessons, whatever it is that you're doing. It is simple. There are lots of pre-done templates that you can use and simply edit so it can be fast. And the engagement with this is, I think, well worth the cost. Why? Well, it has features like drag and drop, fill in, draw, write, choose, color, type, video, all kinds of things that you and your students can do in the midst of your lesson. Yes. It's drag and drop. You literally can drag a piece and add it and then just edit it, which means you can create your own or you can use the free editable slides that can be added to and changed up any way that you want. I think it makes that so easy. The engagement is absolutely wonderful. And what's really cool about it is with Pear Deck, it tracks every single student's response. Yes, it can track every single student's response. That means every one of your students can answer on that drag and drop slide or that fill it in slide, and it will track each student's response. I think that is amazing. In an online classroom, to have that feature where students aren't waiting around while one student answers, every student gets to answer, and you get all of that information. It keeps them engaged and learning the entire time. And who doesn't want to do all the little cool things that are on the screen and not just watch when your classmates do them? I think that is one of the things that will help keep engagement high and students coming to class. It's perfect for remote learning and it's even perfect for classroom interactive whiteboards. You can use it in your classroom just as easily and I think that's so cool, especially if all your students have their own devices, then they can all log in and answer just as they can online. So that feature makes it extra cool. Certainly you can use it with an interactive whiteboard in your classroom without that feature. It absolutely works there too. And students can come up and drag and drop and fill in and do all the features too. You can assign it as individual work in Google Classroom. You can use it with Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Skype, and Seesaw. And as a bonus, everything that you create in Pear Deck and these other tools are completely shareable with other teachers, which means you can maximize your time by sharing the load. Now, honestly, I know this seems like one more thing to do, but each of these tools will save you tons of time and energy in the long run. So choose one and give it a try this summer. You don't have to use them all, but pick one that you think might be a good fit for you and get started with it. One of the things I love about Pear Deck and Boom Cards is they will make you flexible regardless of what your school year looks like or how it changes throughout the year. So if you start in the classroom and wind up going back online, it will go with you. It's that easy and flexible. So here's your marching orders. Go to the show notes, check out all the video links to get started with any of these tools. Choose the tool that you think you want to start with. Then sign up for a free account or a free trial and try it out while you have time this summer. Create one lesson, 
that includes one of these tools. That's it. Very simple. So if you start with boom cards, just find a few that will pair well with your lessons and try them out. If you decide you want to do Canva, try creating something for your classroom that will go with something you already teach. If you want to give Pear Deck a try, you can either have a colleague tra practice it with you, or you can open two windows and you can view it both as a student and as the teacher. I think this is a super cool feature and it helps you keep tabs of what's going on. If you decide to give Pear Deck a try, go ahead and create a lesson that you can either assign to students through Google Classroom or that you can do live online and give it a try. You just don't know what it can do until you actually get in there and play around with it. I think you're going to be amazed. As always, I have links to all the resources and free trials and videos mentioned in this episode in the show notes on my website at www.hopeineducation.com forward slash podcast. Teachers are some of the most creative souls on this earth. I cannot wait to see what you do with these tools. So that's it, my teacher friends. We're out of time and I'm out of breath. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you liked today's episode, I'd love it if you go to Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen and leave a review. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button so you'll never miss an episode. Also, you can... Also, you can continue the conversation online with me in my Facebook group, the Teach Joyfully podcast community, where elementary teachers can connect, get help, and encouragement for all kinds of education and parenting topics. You can find the show notes and links to all the resources mentioned in today's episode on my website at www.hopeineducation.com forward slash podcast. And remember, a happy teacher is a good teacher. Until next time. Teach joyfully and take care of you.